What is going on guys, Skrillexaurus here, and today I'm going to do a review on my real skateboard. This is about a year and a half old, maybe two years, it's all busted up, massive razor tail, do you even camera bro, uh, freaking chip right there, and yeah, so I'm going to do a review on it. This is the since day one graphic, um, it's the yellow and blue contrast, it it's there I seen another one which is I think blue and purple where the like the actual deck is uh, purple and the design that has since day one is blue uh, I don't remember if it's blue or a slightly pinkish color whatever if you if you get this board I suggest getting it with Grizzly because you always need Grizzly with bad designs you always need bad designs um, but if you're gonna get this board I, s I highly suggest you do, because it has an amazing pop. For the first maybe three or four months, it's going to have an amazing pop, obviously. Then it's going to get razor tail and all that. But for the first three or four months, it's going to have, like, the best pop. And uh, I've tried this one and some of my friends' boards where they have real skateboards also. Um, and it has, like, the best pop that I've tried so far. The concave is really good. And the tails also... Are medium high tails if you can see it right there they're not as high as you think the, the nose is much higher than than the tail and the, the nose is very round like if you can see right there it's like much rounded that obviously this has razor tail but it this has used to be like square about this big like maybe that big and it was square so yeah the board also brings stickers with it like in the packaging it has like a little tab on the corner and it brings little stencils for spray painting, so if you can spray paint whatever the hell you want. And there's also stickers. Um, I peeled them all off when I, once I finished, just to get the whole like graphic on the video. There's still like a real crappy sticker right there that's still on the board. It's made out of seven ply birch wood. I think they use normal glue. You know how some skateboards they use uh, epoxy. They use wood epoxy sometimes for these boards. Nowadays they use wood epoxy. Also, this board has a lot of cracks. Like there's a couple right there. I don't know if you can see them, but there's one right there. There's another one over here on the hole. There's one over here in the corner of the design. Let me see if I remember where it was. There it is. It's right there as you can see and there's also in the bottom like these boards obviously they crack a lot in this area right here like where the base plate of the trunk goes they it's very cracked in. it's a 816 board if I remember correctly it's an 816 I don't know the like the length of the board but that's the width um very odd number usually they're 8825 or eight one two five or like seven seven five so on eight but this one's eight sixteen real skateboards have always done that they've always got these weird shapes like my friend has a seven sixty five it's it's pretty odd like this board um it's an eight sixteen I have an eight two five well it's not here right now but I had I have an eight two five and it's slightly larger it's probably like this this bigger maybe Maybe a bit bigger. And obviously, it's uncomfortable to ride like an A25. For me right now, it's very uncomfortable to ride an A25. An 816, it feels more like an 8. It doesn't feel like an A25 as much. <clears throat> so, this is my new board. It's a side effects pizza deck. And as you can see, here's the board on it. It's slightly larger. See, it's like more to an 8 than an uh, 825. An 825 may be somewhat like this big, maybe. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating right there. But it's kind of like that big. And as you can see, compared, compare these boards. This one is like larger. It is larger. But it, it, still, it still felt like an 8. Like, when I ride my current board, it, f it feels similar to this, to this board. It feels really similar. And real, real boards tend to do that. Like, they kind of trick you. My friend, he has a 765, 
and it feels like a 775, but it's a 765. So, yeah. All right, so that has been my review of the real since day one graphic, the blue edition. Um, I don't I don't think this is a pro model. It doesn't say any names on it, and it doesn't say that it's a pro model. But I think I've seen pro models of this board, like this board in particular. I had a pro model. It was the Element Nick Garcia uh, Moonshine deck. I'll give you a picture right now of what uh, skateboard it was. But I don't think this is a pro model. Um, it doesn't look like one because it doesn't have a name and everything and whatnot. But yeah, that was my review. I hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and peace, guys.